Hello everybody, I'm almost finished with my terrain project. Um, it, I only have a couple of features to add and then it will be completely finished. So first thing you probably noticed is there's water now. Uh, the functionality of the water, it works completely, it looks pretty good. Um, obviously this texture up here will be changed. Uh, the current, I mean this current one looks horrendous. It definitely won't look like this um, in the official release. but. As of now, um, again, functionality-wise, working pretty much perfectly. Um, stuff like props still acts like normal gravity, but I don't know if I'll actually do anything to change about that. Um, it'll probably just be more like visual kind of water. Um, it does reuse code from the water add-on, so I can swim in here and it acts the exact same as swimming in this water down here. Um, the reason I am not using the dynamic water for the uh, terrain water is, first off, it's too expensive. Um, it's 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 so expensive. Like uh, with regard to frame rate, it just it just obliterates it. It's not um, it wouldn't be useful in this regard. Um, it also can't be seen by everybody. So what's even the point if not everyone can see it? Um, of, a single plane intersection is way, way easier to calculate than hundreds of thousands of particles. So uh, that's why I'm not using dynamic water for the mod. Um, yeah. So um, I am working in progress with a seasons, and this will probably be the last feature of the mod. So I can change the tree color. Uh, don't worry about the um, trees over there. That's just that's just LODs. Um, the trees over there are actually completely different than the trees here, just due to how LODs work. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so uh, seasons are kind of working. As you can see, uh, the tree color, I can literally modify the color to whatever I want. Um, so I can make it blue if I wanted, and the leaves kind of make a blue color. The way that this works is it makes a light on top of the on top of the model and this is super fast like super super fast like like it is it's crazy how f how fast like rendering these trees is um, uh, as you can see that uh, that's how it works so it projects like a light on top of the object in case of this rock obviously the rock won't look like this um, but with the work in progress seasons I think it looks pretty good you can change the leaf color um, to pretty much whatever you want. Um, I, I Technically these are evergreen trees. I think these are evergreen trees. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, they're not deciduous trees so they're not really supposed to change color but you know whatever. Uh, I, I don't really care. <laughs> I, I mean seasons look good anyway so um, I can I can modify the tree color to anything that I want. Um, so let me just make each tree color like random. Uh, <laughs> flashing alert. So uh, every frame the tree the trees are changing color to whatever they want. Uh, I guess if I really wanted to I could just um, sign cur time maybe that would look good. Something like this. Something like that might look good. There we go. So I can change the tree color to anything that I want. Um, in this case, uh, there are individual trees flashing their own color. Anyway, you get the idea. I can change the tree uh, leaf color to pretty much whatever I want, uh, allowing us to do pretty easy seasons. Um, there are some bugs that I need to fix. Uh, one of them, it's not really a bug, but it doesn't look right. So on the side of these mountains, you can see that there's a weird kind of triangle thing that isn't wrong. If I go over here, you can see I can see the sun. And if I go over here, you can't see the sun or it's like barely visible. Uh, technically, I guess it's supposed to be like there. There we go. So yeah, the sun is barely, barely visible. Um, this isn't wrong. It just doesn't look right um, because I rewrote how the terrain is rendered. Uh, it's pretty fast with regard to rendering. So I can go to the corner of the map over here and look at all of it. And I'm still getting pretty solid frame rate. 
yeah so we're getting about 200 fps uh, the default flat grass frame rate is about uh, four to six hundred roughly so it does like half your frame rate but i mean come on you're rendering all of these trees you're rendering all of the like hills you're rendering the water you're rendering a whole bunch of stuff and of course when you go down here and you like don't look at everything you get like 300 fps so um very 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 cheap terrain especially with details such as graphs being like a part of the terrain it's 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 extremely cheap um stuff maps like gm underscore fork with uh like forest and stuff they they'd never even get this high frame rate um i don't know why but uh, who knows um but yeah very very fast very clean uh, collision wise works pretty much the same as you'd think as you'd expect um so yeah I think the last couple things that I have to fix are there's a crash related to 32-bit branch of Gmod. If you are on the 32-bit branch of Gmod, I suggest switching to 64-bit. Not only will some features and bugs be fixed automatically, um, it is better frame rate and um, you crash way less often. So I highly suggest switching to the 64 branch of Gmod if you do play the game. Um, besides that, I think that's the only two features left that I have to add is better water and um, of course the bug fixes and seasons. Uh, I don't think I'll do daylight cycles simply because recalculating lighting takes forever and I don't think it would look very good. Uh, I guess technically you can change the color of the terrain to be like a darker shade to give the illusion of darkness but even then you still get the shadows and it doesn't really look that good. So you kind of it, it it's it it just doesn't look very good. Um, stuff like Storm Fox may be able to do it a little bit better. I'm not really sure, but eh, I'm not really. I don't really feel like doing daylight cycles. Seasons though, definitely I'll do seasons. Um, uh, biomes actually, I might do biomes like like a like a winter kind of like instead of grass it would be like snow maybe something like that I'm not really sure uh, like maybe like a desert where it'd be like sand and rock I don't know I don't know um, so yeah I'm, I'll probably do seasons I'll probably do definitely do a better water texture and maybe biomes uh, 